hello everybody how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel today i made this vegetable potato porridge but before i show you the recipe let's go get some ingredients you know as a nigerian living in Benin republic kotonu precisely you have no choice than to learn how to speak the language french so if you are also living in a foreign country country that is not yours how are you coping how do you learn to speak the language are you still struggling or now you're professional i remember when i came here at first i was so reluctant to learn in french you know learning french i speak english i grew up in an english-speaking country and all of a sudden you just have to learn a different language it's a beautiful thing because you know learning so many languages in the world today it's a double advantage I was really, really reluctant, but at the end of the day, I had no choice than to learn the language. One thing I have realized in Benin here is that most of the Beninois don't like speaking French. They prefer speaking their local language. In fact, some of them don't even know how to speak French properly. And it can be very frustrating because when you want to buy things from these local vendors, you know, they speak their local language and you are still struggling with the French. You know and they are communicating with you in their local language it's amazing but the language can be stressful now i can speak the french and it is amazing i can communicate better i can talk to anybody you know i can go anywhere it's i feel so good you know speaking the french fluently not fluently but okay as for the local language <laughs> I need the grace and the favor of God because it is only the mercies, the mercies of God that can that can allow me or give me the grace, that can give me the fortitude to learn the local language. But as for now, let me just stick with the French. And this market is a very nice, like it's a very affordable market. You can get literally everything you're looking for at an affordable price it's not that expensive you get fresh things i like going to this market even though it's big you can get anything food spices you know cooking ingredients anything at all in this market at an affordable price it is so cheap one day i'm going to make a proper tour on this market so that you guys can see one of the biggest open market and the cheapest market in west africa so i'm literally done with everything i came to buy i just decided to buy some few ingredients since i don't have them at home and i'll be going home to wash clean and prep them for my meal so guys I hope you guys enjoyed my little market tour. So now I'm back home and everything is ready. My gizzard is properly washed, even though it is ice. So I just put my gizzard in a pan and I blended the pepper, the garlic, ginger, and onion. And I added it to the gizzard and I'm adding my chopped onion, the chicken cube, salt, and i'll be adding a little bit of paprika and stir properly until everything is combined are you the kind of person who likes good food but <clears throat> don't like making it because when you think of the stress you go through from going to market coming back you know prepping cutting slicing doing all of these things or you are the kind of person who you know you want to make good food for your family because you love to see the satisfaction on their faces. Now my gizzard is ready and I just took them out and put the saucepan back. I added oil, allow it to heat for some few minutes and added the gizzard for it to fry. Me personally, I would love my gizzard to be fried. I mean, fried, dried. But because the kids will be eating it, so I don't want it to be too hard for them to eat. This is perfectly okay for them. And I'll be taking it out now to start cooking my potato porridge. So that's the pot. And I added my oil, allow it to heat up for some few minutes. Added my chopped onion stir and i'll be adding my tomatoes the tomatoes i'll be adding 
honestly because my daughter was crying i couldn't even concentrate to blend the tomato smoothly as you can see there's this one whole tomatoes here that refused to blend but all the same i had to take it out and now allow the tomatoes to fry for some few minutes until it is ready and i'll be putting now it's ready as you can see and i added my gizzard stock on it and i'll be adding my potato this meal is actually my son's favorite he loves this meal a lot and he always wants to eat it and now i'll be stirring you know to combine the potato with the tomato sauce combine everything and i added my pan like this fish is called cod or some people call it hake so now i'm adding my water please you don't want to add too much water in your potatoes so it won't be watery and i'll be combining everything together you know everything should get cooked properly and i'm adding my chicken stock my salt to taste and i'll be adding my pepper as well because it's for the kids i don't want to make it more spicy but for me i don't mind adding more pepper to this thing so i'll stay 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 and cover for you to cook for some time now that it is boiling i added my crushed shrimps and stir i allowed it to cook for 10 to 15 minutes depending on how soft you want your potato to be because it's not me if it's for me i wouldn't want it to be really soft but because of the children i want it to be soft so now i'm adding my fried gizzard and i was there guys this is how i want the consistency to be this is how i want it perfectly for the kids and i'm adding carrot i decided to add the vegetables when the food is almost ready because i don't want them to be overcooked and this is the chopped runner beans i'll stir and i'll be adding the red bell pepper guys how beautiful is this potato porridge i know when my son comes back from school I'm not going to hear anything other than mommy where's the food is the food ready yet hope you made it hope you are not going to disappoint me today so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel like post share and comment i'm gonna see you guys in my next video i love you guys have a beautiful day bye